Hello everybody, I am Pastor Pete and I serve Brookings First United Methodist Church. We are making this short video because of an awareness of the grief of losing a loved one in these strange times. Because we can't even grieve normally. We can't have the funeral gatherings that we are used to. We can't have tea together. There is no storytelling. There is no weeping together because we have been distant. And many people have had strange funerals with reduced numbers. And you left to carry the pain alone. On top of this, we have collective pain. We carry the pain in the United States of 100,000 people who have died, often died alone in a hospital ward to this virus. In the world, 350,000, and that number hasn't stopped. It climbs every day. We want to offer an opportunity to weep. This will be a moment that you can log on, you can return to. Um, to prepare for this, I am inviting you to get a candle. I already have my candle ready because we will light a candle a little later in the service. I also have my mask, a reminder to myself of all those who have died. And so we're going to have a hymn. I will read a scripture reading and then I'll lead us in prayer. And I would hope this can help to find closure, that this can be a place that you can pause and bring your weeping soul to God. Because it's okay to weep. In fact, it's important to weep. And maybe this can be a place for you to weep. And so find your candle. Um, find a place that you can sit comfortably. Listen to the hymn if you'd like to. You can sing the hymn. And allow your soul to become quiet as you bring yourself before God and you bring the memory of people you've loved or you bring the, the sense of sadness that you carry within you as we come, as we come together before God. And so I'm going to read to us from Scripture. I read 1 Corinthians 15 from verse 52. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15. We begin at verse 52. When the last trumpet sounds, we shall all be changed in an instant as quickly as the blinking of an eye. For when the trumpet sounds, the dead will be raised, never to die again, and we shall all be changed. Then the scripture will come true. Death is destroyed. Victory is complete. Where death is your victory, where death is your power to hurt, death gets its power to hurt from sin 
and sin gets its power from the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, my dear friends, stand firm and steady. Keep busy always in your work for the Lord, since you know that nothing you do in the Lord's service is ever useless. Just so far. And so I invite us to, to be in prayer. Sit comfortably, have your candle ready. We're going to go into a time of prayer. I will not rush the prayer. I will allow space for breathing, space for some silence. Let us pray. O oh God of all creation, your love breathed life into us. Your love continues to give us the breath of life each day. And your love will receive us home when we draw our last breath. O God of all creation, breathe your Holy Spirit into this moment of reflection and grief. And so we remember people we have loved who have now died. And I invite you to light your candle. And I light my candle as we together grieve those who are no longer with us. We pause for a moment's silence as we remember those we have loved and lost. O oh God, we thank you for their lives and for our memories of them. Thank you for the way we loved one another. And forgive us when we left precious feelings unspoken. We commend our loved ones into your mercy and care, for in you alone we trust. We pray for your grace-filled love to hold us in our sadness, and we commend into your care those people who have died. Let us also remember others who are grieving the loss of loved ones. We do remember those who have died in war. We remember those who've died from the coronavirus. We remember the victims of domestic violence and of police violence and of criminal violence. And right now we weep for Amord Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. Touch us all with your peace. Lord, we lift up the family and friends of all who've died. We pray your peace to keep them and give them hope. Help them remember that their loved ones are in your care. We pray, O oh God, for your protection and provision. We pray that we might draw new breath for our lives. Teach us to breathe in harmony with you. Bless us with the certainty of your loving strength in our difficult time of crisis. And we ask this in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And so may God bless you and keep you. May God grant you grace as you put the pieces of your life back together. May you learn, may you learn that you are God's beloved and that in the hardest of times, the Good Shepherd holds your hand as you go through those deepest valleys. And may the Spirit of God be with you today and to eternity. Amen. God bless you. And so thank you for joining us today. I am inviting you to bring your gifts to God. I'm grateful that you continue to support the life of this church. Through your gifts, we are able to pay our staff and through them, able to continue to offer care to our community. I invite you to give your gifts online or to use our postal service. You will see all the details on the screen. Allow me a moment to pray over our gifts. Lord God, we bring our gifts to you, praying that they might not only be a sign of our love and our affection for you, but that they might be used to bless others. So honor these gifts that we give in Jesus' name. Amen. And so receive the blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, may the love of God, May the fellowship of God's Spirit hold us and go with us today, through this week, and to eternity. Amen. God bless. Have a great day.